Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Time for an episode of Buy or Sell. In these videos, I give you about three or four cards that I think that you should buy given their target market value and four cards that I think you should sell and av or avoid if you if you uh, don't have them. So if you have them, you want to sell them for the value that they're going for. Uh, before we get into that, guys, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Again, I do daily NHL content all year round as well. Make sure you check me out on Twitch. I go live at 12 p.m. Eastern time if you want to watch and hang out while we play Hut pretty much every single day. Well, it is at noon. The link is down below. Don't forget to like the video. It also helps me out. So let's get into today's episode of Buy or Sell. We're going to start first with the 92 Rasmus Dallin. This is one of the sells, okay? So with Distributor, obviously an extremely great card. Six foot three defenseman, 89 speed, a great shot over 90 hand stats as well and elite defensively with 895 stick checking 96 awareness and 91 body checking now don't get me wrong this is an incredible card but for 700,000 coins you could essentially go out and get Miro Heiskin in the 89 version who's a better skater for five under 500,000 coins the 89 version so Keep that in mind, guys. He will also help you out by activating Speedster as well as Distributor. Miro is the best card that I've used this year, still on my team. And while this card is technically slightly better than Heiskanen, I'll, although I think that this is the version that is better, but it doesn't help you out with um, Distributor, and it's more expensive. When talking about this one specifically, for 700,000 coins, while it activates Distributor, it's under 90 speed. And, you know, if you've got Headman on your team, that's already one kind of slightly slower skater. He's still a fantastic card, took me wrong, but I would much rather just have Miro Heiskanen and 200,000 extra coins. Next up on the sell list is the 92 Sammy Vatnin. So with Spark as one of his options or Workhorse are basically the ones you're choosing between this is a sell for me because you could go out and get the 92 Eric Carlson from the Winter National event for the same price, and I think that that is just an all-around better card. Five foot ten, even with 89 body checking, is extremely tough to use effectively in the defensive zone. Um, anyone under six foot, they've got to be elite everywhere else. And while this card is pretty good, uh, you know Makar is better, and you know obviously he's going to cost a little bit more. But that 92 Winter National. Uh, Carlson, especially if you can activate Workhorse on him, is an absolute force, and I would much rather have him than the 92 Sammy Vatnin. Coming in at number three on the sell list is all of the fantasy cards. So while this is my favorite event of Hut throughout the year, last year it was incredible. The issue is COVID. I mean, the season started so late after NHL launched, so they have to find a way to make these cards overall somewhat usable, but also not overpowered that if they go off in the regular season early on, now you have a ton of 99 overall cards. They have to they have to kind of do that dance. So it's extremely difficult for them to do, and I don't envy them, which really hammered this event. It was almost an afterthought because they just kind of threw it in uh, with packs, no sets, nothing like that. And it sucks, but that isn't EA's fault. That's, you know, just COVID in the life that we li have to live now. So, But the thing is, if you packed any of these cards... Like, even as a Sharks fan, uh, I love Brent Burns, but there is no way that I'm going to hold on to uh, 80 speed. Even if he scores 10 goals, his speed is 85, and he doesn't have a synergy to help him out. So he's going for, like, 350,000 coins. I would rather have that 350,000 coins easily um, and have a card that'll help me, and I could probably resell by the time that Brent Burns is up there uh, in terms of overall. The only ones that you could even think about using are Jeff Carter and Raquel, uh, as well as Clayton Keller and even Wayne Simmons. But here's the issue. Like, free-to-play players that could actually use these cards are players that have lesser teams than, like, the God Squads. Like, it cost them 230,000 coins just to get them. So it makes no sense. We're just caught in this kind of purgatory of, of overalls with this event, and this is just a hard avoid. I would let someone else worry about it. Like, even Jeff Carter, while you could almost use him, uh, he's going for too much. Like, uh, you know, he has the potential to, to kind of get up there. If I had to bet, Jeff Carter's probably the one that I think would kind of blow up um, with this event because his speed is all right and he's got howitzer already. Um, but again, it's just not not worth the risk. And I think that you could use your coins on other cards to help you out now and in the future as well. And the last card among the cells is the 90 Marion Hosa. This is going for like over 200,000 coins. And it's only because it's Marion Hosa and he's rated 90 overall. He's got 83 speed. Uh, two to spark is nice, but that only gets it up to 87. People complain about Mark Stone. This is an even worse version of Mark Stone. So 
Um, you know, if it wasn't Marion Hosa and he wasn't listed at 90 overall, he wouldn't be going for 200,000 coins. Uh, his speed is awfully in a rough spot. And, uh, yeah, this is a hard avoid. I would sell immediately and do not chase this card. If you need spark, go out and get the get the two, the 89 franchise, great Gabrick or Crosby for a more increased price, but still no, no chance on this one. All right, now on to the buys of the week. It's the 90 Rupe Hints with Swarm and Speedster. So right off the bat, he helps you with a team-based synergy, one that you're trying to activate after Distributor, and has Speedster. So before Distributor, he's got 93 or 90 speed. His face-off rating at 87 is just good enough. It's kind of the cutoff where you want to have your sentiment at. And at 6'2", he's got great size. His shot is awesome. His body checking is 91. This is a great centerman for under 200,000 coins. So um, definitely one that I'd be targeting if I was a free-to-play player looking for that next kind of um, top-end card for your lineup. Great value, and he should keep falling. But once the event's over, he'll probably get stuck around 200. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, definitely a good card and one of the buys of the week. Also from the European Hockey Club event, we've got the 87 Julius Natnan again for the players that you know don't have those epic God Squad pay-to-win teams. You're looking for players that can help you get with distributor as well as be decent all the way around so with distributor activate he gets up to 90 speed he's 6-2 has 87 on the draw this is just a cheaper version of rupe hints if you can't afford him go and get julius natanen he's only going to cost you about eighty-five thousand coins great value and look at that wrist shot and slap shot power just an all-around good card for anyone uh that's you know got that middle tier team maybe around 88 to 90 overall this is the kind of cards that you want to look for 88k definitely an option for you here one that i would go out and get next up among the buys is the 89 marcel nobles i feel like he's just a forgotten master set item from back back way back when a few months ago how it's activated he's got 88 speed the real the real thing here is that he's only 250,000 coins now but 91 faceoffs. he's borderline better than uh, miku koivu he's six foot three 204 just an all-around great centerman and still holds up the only the only knock on him is that he doesn't have a team-based synergy to help you out so um, you know, we're kind of getting to that point where without a team-based synergy, your card loses value, but this is a fantastic card, and definitely, it's probably one of the first centermen I would go after once you've made your team and you're starting to, you know, look at those high-end cards. Um, if you've got enough coins, you know, this is a slightly better version of Rupe Hints, in my opinion, so, um, you know, a great, great buy at 250,000 coins. All right, and lastly, it's gold cards going for under 100,000 coins. There should never be a time in which there's these cards available. So guys, if you're new to the game, you just picked it up. Um, the best way to make money and really the quickest way, it's the easiest one as well because it, without learning the market, is this. Okay, so gold cards fluctuate a ton more than any other card probably throughout the week. It's just based on packs being open. So Wednesday night, everyone rips their Hut Champs packs, their Rivals packs, next day is Squad Battles, and it floods the market with gold cards. Same with events being released because everyone rips packs and they just want to make money and get rid of their golds that they're not going to use. Okay, when cards get under 1,000, you should be buying them up. I know I'm not because I have enough coins and I don't really need to sit there and do it. But if anyone complaining about how to make money, you do this now and then Monday and Tuesday when these go for like 1150 to 1200 coins, you're making like 300 on each and every single one. It's a slow process, but it's the best way for any new player or even experienced player that's free to play uh, to earn money in this game. It should never. It blows me away that whenever there's under a thousand. So uh, keep that in mind, guys. It's just I wanted to make sure we highlighted that in this video. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for this episode of Buy or Sell. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And again, catch me live on Twitch, noon Eastern time, every single day. Link is down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll see you next time.